Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 on Attingham Park. Right, so in the first episode we focused on setting up a few bits of kit and also making sure we started off with the feed and stuff like that. So um, that was all set up. We have got the grazing mod enabled and as you can see, we chopped away a bit of the grass. Um, and we also did some of the slurry spreading using the new DLC. So that was that was uh, pretty interesting to, to, to do, but we didn't finish it off because I kind of set the application rate a little bit too high. So at least we know we'll just do it automatic next time. So the money has gone down. 74,000 pretty much now. I am using the mod Lease to Buy. So I have leased out this muck spreader. Quite a hefty piece of kit. And it's I've basically just filled up nearly. I'm like 99% from the manure that we've already generated. So that's pretty good. So we're going to be doing some muck spreading at some point. I don't know if it's going to be in this episode. Just because I do need a bit more. But we want to finish off that field. So that is going to happen at some point. I have also purchased two trailers, um, header trailers. So they're all set up and sorted out. And I have parked away the harvester and uh, the forage wagon. So there's a couple things I want to do in this episode. We're going to focus on baling and making grass silage. I'm going to definitely focus on that because I've been messing about with it. Trying to learn a bit of that side for the Maze Plus and all that. So it's uh, interesting to see uh, the bales and the capacities that you can do and when to bale it in what form and how dry it should be and all that kind of stuff so we're going to go through that and have a look at it but also what i want to do is start doing probably some lime spreading sort the ph out on the few fields i think we've got two that we can focus on the rest really we need to do first some cutting on the grass fields and then we obviously need to harvest the big field of sunflowers so if we just have a quick look at the map and give you an idea of where we're at so field 33 is the big field with sunflowers now that has got weeds in unfortunately um, and if I just go to this one, we can see that it's just full of weeds, the whole field. And it is unfortunate, but it is what it is with that. We can't really do much about it. So we're just going to leave that and harvest it in the state it's in. And then we can focus after that uh, to make ourselves a nice field that's not going to have any issues. So if we have a look at the, the grass fields, you can see that I've finished mowing field 26 and started on field 31. We still need to do 32, so we're going to do that in this episode and finish off this. Field 27 is either going to be May silage or whole crop. What I'm thinking is turning 31 into probably like whole crop. Probably May is actually 31. We probably could do with a little bit more of that. And then field 27, which is going to be whole crop silage bales, we'll uh, we'll sort that out. So we're, we're gonna we can actually plant this pretty much now. We can do a winter crop to to make whole crop from. So this one here we can start focusing on with the pH. We can actually also start focusing on field 25. Can't do to 26 yet because I've got a few things to still do in that after a mode. But I think it's important that we go and start focusing on the precision farming side of things, which mainly is pH the first step. I mean, we could look at mulching and stuff like that, but this is a ploughed field. Can't really do anything else to it, unfortunately. So yeah, field 27, we're going to do some liming first, and then we can, we can obviously do some liming to field 25 as well. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to put something down on the map, which we can just fill up with a bit of lime and then fill up from. I think that's going to be the best way to do this. So if we go to buildings and containers, there's one here that costs a thousand pound. It holds a hundred thousand liters. And I'm hoping I can just put a bit of lime in that. And I think that'll be job done. So plunk that there. I think that's good enough. We can tidy up and put tracks in and all that. I did put this back as well because originally it was here, then I moved it over here, um, thinking that I was having issues, but I had a conflict with um, the uh, manual attachment mod, so I ended up putting it back, so I tried to tidy it up a little bit. So I will do the same with this in between the episodes, a bit of a track and all that. So let's have a look what we can get. 100,000 litres ideally of lime, which is 24,000, but do you know what? That's, that's a hefty amount, isn't it, really? trying to think do we need that much it goes down quick and we are going to use it but maybe maybe just get 50,000 yeah let's just get 50,000 that should do right so what we need to do now is obviously get some kind of piece of kit to do this with so we're going to spawn in we're going to we're going to lease out but this time I don't know if I'll lease to buy this but we're definitely going to lease it out and I'm hoping I've actually got it in which is that so this is the lime spreader so we can put the extension on uh, don't need a cover, and we'll get extended sp spreading unit, and we're going to lease that out. So it's seven thousand 
A lot of money, but we need it. I do really like this. Left a piece of kit. So let's fill it up. And we'll fill it up. Now, if we actually go into the menu, we might be able to set this up as a course play that automatically refills from that point. But I think I need to probably go to this one. And fertilizer. We don't want to buy it. Hmm. I've got them set up. I don't think I can do it for lime, so we're just going to have to probably... I would set up auto drive, but I've uh, turned that off because it was having some conflictions with the hoses mod. Or boats and hoses. But we can get through this quick enough. And hopefully it won't take too long. Yeah, this won't take long at all. So we will keep this until we've basically done all the fields as best we can but at least we're, at least we're sorting it out it's not that bad really for, for the pH missed a bit there, it's going to annoy me let's go back there we go So this is the field that I'm going to be doing a whole crop in. So it's a good size field just to do some bales, a whole whole crop. It will be we will be going through it and mowing it into crop swath, and then we'll actually go through the field and build it up. Whereas with the maize, we're, we're going to have to put that in the bunker. We could make bales, but we do need to first put it into a row ourselves. It kind of makes it a more long-winded task, and I think we may as well just stick it all in a bunker and have that fermenting, and then we can take it with a bucket from the, the JCB when we need it and that's a, a good idea so when we've done this we'll go back, we'll fill it back up and then I will set a course play up to do the grass field that we did sp spread some slurry on because then all we need to do with that is just probably finish it off with a bit of muck, some sort of maybe slurry or, or manure and that'll be set then we won't need to do much else to that go so hope, hoping 11,000 litres will last us out it should do it doesn't use as much now on precision farming if you're actually doing lime spreading on the base game without precision farming it does use a lot more whereas currently with PF it's uh, yeah a lot better so let's see how this gets on and we'll set ourselves up a bit of a course play Right, so what we need to focus on now is making some feed because we've, the cows consume so much food with Maze Plus now that it's important that we do it. So I'll give you a bit of an update of what I've done. In this field, I've chopped it. So I've gone over it and mowed it. I've got all the equipment. That's why the money went down quite a bit because I did spend a lot to get some good mowing equipment because we're going to be doing that quite a lot. So I mowed this as fresh grass and started baling it. Now, the baler actually, they come off at the 125, so 125 metres size they come off at three three thousand liters so every grass silage bale that's fresh grass it it's uh, the 125 comes off as three thousand and i thought that's quite small because even i think the smallest type before was um three and a half so it's even smaller than that and then i thought well that must mean that the, the drier it is the bigger bale capacity so it made me think that maybe from now on when i'm doing grass silage i'll actually dry it to the optimal point let's say where you can get the biggest bale so that means you're handling less bales and I do like that I think that's a great idea so as you can see right now I've got a conditioned bale so grass conditioned so that's one stage of drying um, it's 3500 litres I then did a semi dry grass bale so I tedded it once and it actually came off surprisingly it's 5000 so let me just find that one there you go this one this is a Grass semi dry, 5,000 litres. It's still the 125 size, but it's, uh, yeah, it just means that I'm holding 5,000 litres in a bale instead of 3,000. So it's interesting to see that the drier the grass, the more compact it is, basically in a wrap. And you can see that in the volume. So, you, like I said, it's it's fresh grass, 3,000. So, grass conditioned is three and a half. And then if you get it semi dry, 
it's five and then obviously after semi-dry it's pretty much hay anyway so i did do a few testers i've got a few hay bales over there and weirdly this is the one thing i'd probably change is the hay bale came off at less volume at the 125 than the uh, semi-dry so this is a hay bale at 125 size and it's four and a half so 4500 liters now i would have made that probably 5500 or maybe 6000 uh, something along them lines but um, it doesn't matter it's not too bad it just means that we can hold more is semi-dry now this guy's actually ran out already that is insane i think the only way we're going to do this without because i can't i haven't got auto drive to go and fill back up i think we're going to have to do this to a point where we set it up to buy unfortunately which might cost us a little bit of money So if we just set this probably about here, I think that's where he was. And we're going to go to nearest waypoint should do from here. And then what we want to do is go back to the settings here. And we're going to put this, we're just going to put it all as buy. Don't need to do fuel, but we'll, we'll buy the seeds, fertilizer. They should be able to stay the same. And uh, what we should notice is if we set this going delete there we go yeah so you can see that it's not going down but our money is going down quite a bit <laughs> so let's hope it doesn't all disappear our money and we have enough to do this right so while he's doing that and spending all our money we'll have a look at the equipment that I've bought so I have gone with some really nice mowers really nice pretty much everything tried to get some of the best kit you can buy I've gone with the Kabuta uh, mower setup so it's one of the ones as well that drops a uh, row which is nice to have um, and then we've gone with the fast baler but uh, again in the Kubota the kind of livery so that's pretty cool and then we've got a nice class tedder and um, we've gone with this out of the new DLC as well it's still new to me which is the Vermeer DLC pack we've got this for uh, kind of a windrow so that works a treat so, like I said, we've got all that fresh grass over there. We're not going to touch that. What we are going to do is try and make 5,000 litre bales from the rest of these this grass field. So that's including the one over there. And if we just, again, look at the map, you can see that it is field 32 and 31 combined. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be uh, a big job in a way because we're going to have to ted it now as well. But it will mean that we're handling less bales. So why not just get it done, eh? I don't need to actually do this in a certain work mode. There we go, that's that. So we are fresh grass, so what we can do here, we bring up the F1 menu, we could press with, uh, with conditioner on, and you'll see that it goes straight to grass conditioned. And then we just need to ted it um, to semi-dry, and that should do the job. We can also change the working mode, really. Because we're not really that fussed. Ah, isn't that interesting though? Let's first change it. There we go. A little bit of a mixture going on here of all types of grass. You can see the volume though. It's more grass that comes off. Like if we mow this now, it grass conditions, you actually get more volume. That's the way it looks. So maybe it is better to mow it when it's not with, with a grass conditioned as well. that bit done so yeah like I said we're, we're going to be doing like this fresh grass just appearing from somewhere must have got stuck under the uh, the mower yeah we'll, we'll do this we'll do the next field as well and we'll be just making salads I know I've done a few hay bales just testing out but we are focusing on making some salads this time round just seeing the money it's still going down it's crazy but at least he's doing a good job out in the field. We definitely can maximise and get even more money, get that environmental score up as well. So it's uh, yeah, it's important that we do it. So I'll probably take over at some point and do the tedding and maybe set this guy up in a course play in the uh, other field just behind us to start mowing as well. And we'll try and combine. Pretty much at some point, I'm hoping to have all three of them running. So we'll, we'll have the guy 
with the tedder, same with the row, and then we'll do uh, again some baling. And I know it's a longer winded process to, to make silage this way, but again, it depends where you're from. If you, it might be more realistic to you. I do know my experience that if they're making silage in a field, it's not just straight from how it's cut, they do ted it only and obviously row it up. So it kind of makes sense to me anyway. Just like that, I like the idea of having different textures of grass, different um, dryness levels, you could say, as well. I'm hoping that the amount of grass we've actually got should be enough with the cows we've got. We've only got 30 cows and it doesn't sound like much, but with Maze Plus, it is a lot. We are going to consume a massive amount of feed over a year. You've got to remember, you're probably cutting your grass fields three times in that year. So you've got to get enough hay and enough grass silage from to last them out for that year. Or else you're going to be spending a fortune buying in feed. Which is probably not ideal. Right, so I have just set up the uh, the mower again. This time around I changed it so it's got smooth cornering. Uh, the map has got collisions on the hedges so that can be a bit of a problem when it's with course play. So, Normally what I do is set it to smooth when that happens um, and then also at the same time I increase or decrease should I say the boundary of the field so there's more of a headland or yeah, at the side it just helps out then. Uh, personally I, I kind of don't really like the idea of having collisions on the hedges just because I use course play a lot and it kind of causes some issues at the same time so fingers crossed that will we'll fix it. I've also decided to not use follow me because I realise that the, the the, the width of the, the row is actually smaller than the width of what I'm tedding, so it won't actually work very well. So we need to go over that after and do, do some bailing. So I think now is a good time for me to stick in a time lapse. I'll try and get all this field done at least, and then we can probably maybe set course play up to do the rest of the other fields in between this episode and the next. And obviously I'll finish off the bailing with the fresh grass. It shouldn't take too long now.
Welcome back. That was um, not too bad. Didn't take me long at all. So, I've purchased something else. Money just keeps dropping down at the moment. But we do need this kit. And we're going to get some use out of it. Which I think we're just going to need to find some income. Probably sooner than I originally thought. But, hey-ho, we can do it. So, at the moment, you can see that I've got quite a lot of uh, salad bills on here. There's 26, and there's plenty more to pick up. But I have got the... Uh, Brilliant 4D modding trailer. It's uh, also auto load because we're going to need that, I think, with the amount of bales we've got. So that there is going to be for maize silage. This one we're going to put in probably whole crop silage bales, but I think just over here will be a good spot for some grass silage bales. So let's start doing it from here. We can stack these up, and it's easier to try and keep everything close together. So that should do. Now, I have loaded them back on here. So what we can do is take that off and we just try and drop them down. Probably about, let's just level that back up a bit. I think that should be spot on. There we go. So that's the first load brought in. There is plenty more and they obviously need to ferment, but we're doing well. We've got some feed now to go with the uh, the grazing that they're only doing. They have got some feed left in, and obviously every time they take some of the grass out that they're grazing on, that does help us out, but at least we know that we've got some grass silage to eventually feed them if they run out, which I'm hoping they won't. So I obviously need to pick up all the bales that we've done and then we need to carry on baling the grass in the right hand side just to just to the right hand side of me and that will be all that done and then we're going to focus on doing probably hay in the next time around we chop and then obviously we've got the sunflowers we also need to plant in some probably barley or wheat in that small field there now this field here that I'm in currently is going to be maize so we do need to cultivate this at least and then get it all set up for some maize whereas this one here now that I'm in I've just taken the last bales out I've just done the last bales in that's going to be grass with that big field there and I'm hoping then them two big fields this one will be enough for grass and then this one for maize and uh, yeah so on I think I'm hoping that'll be all right but we'll find out all right so let's carry on picking up some bales there's plenty to collect I don't want to pick up the hay though so I need to be careful here It's going to be difficult to grab this. Just have to nudge that one out of the way a little bit. There we go. So I'll pick up all these bales, like I said. I'll put them all away. I'll probably bale off all the rest of that grass over there as well. Put all them away. And then at the start of the next episode, we can probably get to work on planting the, the crop in that we're going to make whole, whole, whole crop silage from. And then we'll have a look to see where the sunflowers are. I think they're like October time when that's going to be ready to harvest. So we've got some time to wait, which leaves us plenty of time to probably sort this field out and get it prepped ready for planting as well when we do the maize, which is not going to be till next year anyway. Uh, but at least this gives us some time to also prep the next time we cut grass to get yeah the best yield possible, really. That is the aim. So I'll just pick up these remaining few. If it's not full, which I don't think it's going to be, we will wait until we've picked some more up from the other field, just because I'm going to try to stack them the best we can. I am going to try to put a load on top. So these bales now are actually a lot smaller. So I've only picked up three, but they only are three and a half thousand litres, so we're going to pump out loads more bales in this field from them rows there than we would on the other one so it does make sense I think to TED it just because we're going to be handling less bales and I think 5,000 is a good size for a bale to obviously work out a feed mix it will benefit us so let's just quickly go and drop these off and I think that then would be a good point for us to finish this episode on we have done a lot when it comes to grass work there's still loads to do absolutely loads but we're making good headway got some good kit for it 
So there we go. I think that's a good point for us to end the episode on. We have done quite a lot. We've got a lot of grass silage still in the fields and also over here. So as this starts fermenting, we should be good for a little bit of feed. He's a little bit out of line there. Only the small things that annoy you. But yeah, I think that is a good point to end the episode on. Thanks for watching. Really do appreciate it. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up because that does help my channel out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.